Do you want to know the truth about how to pay your mortgage off early? Well, the truth is this. It is possible for pretty much anybody, but it takes a few things, primarily dedication and sacrifice and a lot of hard work. And today we're going to unpack how one individual who made headline news three years ago was able to pay his mortgage off in three years. And the truth is, it's possible for you as well, regardless of the size of your mortgage. The definitive guide on how to manage your credit product and elite price in that order. It's never been more important to get your mortgage right. All right, so welcome back. Today we're gonna to discuss Sean Cooper, who made news headlines a few years ago when he paid off his mortgage in just three years. And let's be straight up and honest about this, it took a lot of sacrifice and a lot of hard work, but he was able to do it. And while I don't expect that most people are gonna aim for three years, the truth of the matter is that pretty much anybody can pay off their mortgage faster than they expected. And if you're concerned right now about rising interest rates or the inability to pay, the reality is this. If you're willing to make some sacrifice, if you're willing to do a little bit more, it takes a very insignificant amount of time to make significant progress on paying down your mortgage. And while it might might take a couple years of sacrifice, it will be well worth it in the end. And in this video, we're going to discuss how he house hacked, how he worked extra jobs, and how he was able to make a pretty big dent in a pretty big mortgage, although not necessarily by today's terms, but nonetheless, you too can do the same thing. But before we get into the details, do me that favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and please hit that like button so more people like you can see this video. And don't forget about our race to 25,000 subscribers where we're just like 400 subscribers away, so we're almost there. This is your chance to get in on this contest. So if you hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and watch over the next couple of days, for a brand new video that will tell you exactly how to win, you too can be entered into that draw for $5,000. Okay, so let's get into it. Let's unpack how Sean Cooper was able to pay off his mortgage in three years. This is a phenomenal story of somebody who decided that he wanted to do it, worked really hard, and ultimately made a little bit of sacrifice so that he had a whole lot of freedom down the road. And believe me, with a completely paid off mortgage at the young age of 30, he is going to have a significant amount of freedom. And it's the type of freedom that you can have as well if you decide that you wanna work hard and make some of the same sacrifices that he did. So in today's video, I'm going to play the news article that was on CBC, and I'm going to unpack some of the things that he said, some of the strategies and the tips, and how that might work for somebody in 2022. So let's get into it. I'm going to jump into the screen here and let's talk about Sean Cooper and how he burned his mortgage. My name is Sean Cooper. I paid off my mortgage at 30 years old and it took me three years and two months. Okay, so let's talk about that first. Three years and two months is a very, very short period of time, but it wasn't an insignificant mortgage either. The mortgage was $255,000 when he started, and it took him a very short period of time in order to get that mortgage paid off by the time he was 30. Now, props to Sean Cooper for purchasing a house at the young age of 27 and having the forethought to try to get that mortgage paid off as fast as he could so that he would be free of it going into his early 30s. My mortgage was like a quarter of a million dollars. That's a lot of money. So I just wanted to, you know, get rid of it as fast as possible and be able to enjoy the rest of my life. Unfortunately, there's no easy secret to paying your mortgage off early. And before you ask, no, I'm not related to Donald Trump. And no, I don't have a trust account the size of Paris Hilton. So he's absolutely correct here. There's no easy way to pay off your mortgage early. In fact, my wife and I at one point got caught in this trap. We had reduced our amortization from 30 years down to 11 years by basically doubling up every single payment and ultimately ended up in a pretty tough situation that I've talked about in other videos on this channel. But the key thing to remember here is that it's not easy and you need to have a strategy and a good strategy for paying off your mortgage. One that makes sure that if you get too far into it, you can pull it back a little bit. And that's why we use a Scotia Step mortgage that has a readvanceable line of credit. So basically as we make extra payments onto our mortgage, we know that we can always go back and reaccess that equity should we need it because of a job loss or a health issue or something like that. I work three jobs, work my full-time job uh, at a pension consulting firm, and then on the weekends and evenings, I would do freelance writing. So, uh, you know, while people were out having a good time, I was usually uh, inside on my computer working. So there's two things to unpack from this clip. First and foremost is he spent a pretty significant amount of time working. He worked three jobs 
and was doing freelance writing. So a couple of the things that we've talked about in the past on how to pay your mortgage off early is to find side hustles. For Sean, he was working additional jobs, which is one way to do it, but he was also freelance writing, which you can do on platforms like Fiverr and Upwork. There's lots of opportunities these days to do extra work on your own time on the side as a freelancer by using some of the technology that's been made available the last 10 to 15 years. Now, the other thing to unpack here is that he made sacrifices. Maybe he wasn't going out for drinks and dinners with his friends. Maybe he wasn't spending that extra money because he had a goal and it was clearly about paying off his mortgage as fast as he possibly could. And he was willing and able to forgo that for a couple of years in order to make sure that he met that goal. And now think about it from the perspective of, as of this date, he's probably about 33 years old. He's got every opportunity to go out and have those drinks and do those amazing things and have those amazing experiences because he was able to take care of that mortgage and get it to zero super fast. Again, two or three years of sacrifice led to basically a lifetime of freedom, which I think is a pretty fair trade if you're willing to make that sacrifice. To pay off my mortgage sooner, I've been living in the basement and renting out the upstairs. You can get a lot more rent living in the basement and it just didn't make sense to live upstairs on my own in a three bedroom house. Uh I could get double the rent from renting out the upstairs and pay down my mortgage a lot sooner. Now, this is a common trend in 2022. It's called house hacking. This is where you purchase a house and you rent out bedrooms or rent out the basement and you find a way to get as close to paying as little of your actual own mortgage as possible. And for a young person who's single, this is especially useful. For those of you who are a little bit older, maybe have a family, there are other ways to do this where you have a basement suite or you buy a duplex duplex that's a side by side and you essentially use the rent from other rooms or from the other suites in your unit in order to pay off the mortgage. And we've seen people who have bought four plexes, lived in one unit and used the other three units to subsidize their mortgage payments and have done really, really, really well getting those mortgages paid off relatively quickly and at the same time having very little expense of their own on a monthly basis. I live very frugally. I cycle to work, pack my own lunch, and make my own dinner at home. Craft dinner's probably been my best friend the last three years. Now, for those of us in the workforce, one of the major things that sucks money out of people's budgets is their commutes, both from a time perspective and a dollars perspective. To be able to ride your bike to work does two things. One, it saves you money. It also keeps you healthy. It gets you that time for exercise and so on and so forth. And then packing your own lunches is quite simply one of the single fastest ways to save money. If you can avoid the coffee shop and the fast food joint, you can save a pretty significant amount of money every year. And in other videos, I've talked about our personal espresso machine that costs about $1,000. We also bought a grinder that was about $700 about four years ago, and it cost me now about a dollar per coffee to have a significantly better cup of coffee, a significantly better latte or cappuccino than what Starbucks can serve me, and I'm using better quality beans and basically saving a ton of money. After the first year, that espresso machine, that grinder, they were completely paid off by the amount of money that I had saved by making the espresso at home, and after that, every dollar saved is a dollar that can go to paying off a mortgage. So being smart about how you spend money, being smart about your lunches and your coffee habit can actually make a significant impact on your finances. If you wanna know more about that, look for the book called The Latte Factor by David Bach. My coworkers and friends, they were traveling all the time, but uh, for me, my most exciting trip was the 24 hour bus ride to Wisconsin. And that included a midnight, midnight stop over in uh, Detroit, Michigan, which I care not to repeat. Now, if there's one thing we can say about the pandemic is it taught us probably that we don't need to travel as much as we do. Yes, there was probably that yearning for that trip to Mexico or that trip to Hawaii, but the reality of it is, is there's so much beauty in our own backyard. We are Canadians and we do have one of the best countries to live in and we don't need to be going across the world in order to experience better things because there are amazing things here at home. For me, the mountains are right out my back door. For people who live in Ontario, cottage country is one of the most beautiful places in the world. And just having a little bit of gratitude and taking a little bit of peace in the fact that we have these amazing places all around us can save a pretty significant amount of money as well. And if you're saving five, ten thousand $10,000 a year on travel, that can pretty much eat up a pretty big chunk of your mortgage really fast. I've certainly had to sacrifice a lot. Uh, friends have invited me out and I've you know, had to turn them down or maybe suggest some more frugal options. 
So huge opportunity here. He's talking about having to turn people down, but not necessarily turning them down, but suggesting more frugal options. So there's a really good opportunity here, not just to be the person that doesn't want to go out, but instead to be the person that leads the way to financial freedom amongst your friends group. Because if they see that you're doing things to become more financially successful, then obviously they are going to follow suit. And if they don't, maybe they're not the right people to have in your friend group. In my opinion, it's worth uh, the sacrifice for, you know, three years, two months. And I think this is pretty clear. If you could pay off your mortgage in three years and two months, just think of all the things you could do. Of course, it was worth the sacrifice. It made a ton of sense for him to do a whole ton of work and get that mortgage paid off as fast as possible. It feels like the weight of the world has been lifted off my shoulders. Anyone who has a mortgage right now, especially with this prospect of higher interest rates coming, knows that the mortgage is the weight of the world on your shoulders right now, especially if you have a big one. So think about it this way. It's not necessarily about getting the mortgage paid off in three years. It's about doing everything you can to get the weight of that mortgage off your shoulders. And if that means working an extra job or two, doing some freelance writing, or selecting more frugal options like maybe a bike ride rather than going to a fancy restaurant for dinner, well, I think it's worth it for everybody to consider doing a little bit more to pay off their mortgage faster. I don't know how we did it. I actually sat down and tried to plan, plan out my finances and see if I could actually do something like that, but. Now let's talk about how he did it because how he did it is really simple. He took advantage of prepayment privileges. So probably he had 20% prepayment privileges, which meant he could pay lump sums up to 20% per year. You have to make sure you have the right lender for that because some only allow you to make one lump sum payment per year. And once you've used it, even if you didn't use all of it, you can't use the rest. And he also probably had the ability to increase his payments by 20%, but the one big one, the one that probably made the biggest difference is he was probably doubling up his payments every single month. Or more specifically, he probably had weekly or bi-weekly payments and was doubling those up all the time. And that, that alone is what took us from 30 years down to 11 year amortization back in the day. And that is the single fastest way to pay off your mortgage is using a mortgage that has double up payments. So lenders like First National, Scotiabank, most of the big banks have this option in some way, shape or form, but the lender with the absolute best prepayment privileges tend to be First National and Scotiabank, Scotiabank for the banks, and First National for the non-bank lenders that tend to deal with more A-plus clients. In fact, I would be quite surprised if Sean Cooper didn't use a lender that was something like a First National in order to pay off his mortgage faster. Sean's team is amazing. It's like, I don't know how he did, but one thing I can say about Sean is that he's just super dedicated. And the really cool thing here is when you look at the conversations that his friends are having after the fact, they go, you know what? He might have not been the guy who came out and socialized for the last three years, but they're pretty darn proud of him. And on top of that, they're all probably a little bit inspired to do the same thing as he did. And whether or not they get to three years, they're probably all doing at least a little bit of something in order to get ahead. Because when you surround yourself with people that do things like what Sean Cooper did, which is pay off his mortgage in three years and two months, you're bound to follow suit and be at least a little bit influenced by that person's success. In fact, we know this. One of the best things that you can do if you want to find success is surround yourself with people that have similar goals to what you have. That by far is probably the single best way to move from where you are right now to where you want to be, whether that is earning more income, having more investments or paying off your mortgage early. Now that I've paid off my mortgage, a lot of people are asking me what's next. I'm going to loosen up and enjoy some of the things that I've been depriving myself of. And this is obviously the light at the end of the tunnel or the reward at the end of the journey. It is the destination that will allow him to have the financial freedom to do whatever he likes. And the reason I put this video together today is not because I expect people to pay off their mortgage in three years. I hope that some people do. I hope some people just accelerate the amount of time that it takes to pay off their mortgage. But the reason I put it together is because in the face of rising interest rates, what you need to know is that even if interest rates were to go up, there are opportunities to pay off your mortgage faster and not find yourself in a situation where you can't make your payments. But what it takes is commitment. It takes time. It takes effort. And in a job market where it is super frothy right now, and there are tons of available jobs and tons of opportunities to increase your income or work side jobs or do freelancing work, well, there's no better time than right now to make a move in order to have more financial freedom and make more money and pay off your mortgage faster if that's what you choose to do.
So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, do me that favor, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Please hit that like button so more people like you can see this video. Don't forget about our race to 25,000 subscribers and we'll see you on the very next one. Cheers. Welcome.